welcome back. To some of you, this particular position might look familiar from last stream. Um, so what we're looking at uh, was the position where I ended up resigning this game under the impression that it was completely lost. Uh, some of our helpful viewers pointed out a continuation here, uh, namely that if we go to the end, uh, I can attack these and attack those. Um, I'm trying to remember how this worked. Uh, so the idea is that uh, I was saying that these three were lost. Uh, if I attacked here, I would just end up losing that. It's not actually the case. Um, because, say, if we continue here, um, okay, yes, I do end up losing this stone, and this one is all by itself and is inevitably lost. However, these four get surrounded if White keeps ambitiously trying to attack all this. So this would not actually be the best continuation for White, just because as weak as my position is, um, my opponent's position is also pretty weak. So if I cut here, my opponent has to fix, and I can cut again, thus saving these three. Um, but yeah, my opponent's built a wall. There's not a whole lot I can do. I don't know the final evaluation, but I've got to be thinking that White's doing decently here. Um, could fix there. I don't know, my opponent could threat to, threaten to cut me. Um, I thought this was really complicated. Uh, feel free to submit your own evaluations and feedback and such, and I will consider it. Uh, that said, let's get to playing a new game. Uh, so let's seek another 10 minute, 30 second Yoyomi. Three Byoyomi periods. Um, oh man, I forgot to give my stream the humorous title. Um, yeah, let's do that. Oh no, we don't need to do that. You know, I had hoped to do some um, beginner based coverage of the Chochikun. Um, versus Deep Zen Go match. And for numerous reasons that didn't end up happening yesterday. So I will be unable to use my awful, awful pun of uh, um, counting your chickens before they hatch or chow your chickens before they whatever it was that I was thinking of doing. It was horrible, awful. Probably not to be repeated, but I repeated that anyhow. Um, so, one thing I'm learning from these games is that it's okay to play a bit passively um, or defensively. You don't necessarily need to be envious of your opponent's territory. It's great for beginners to do fighting as much as they can, but. Um, this seems kind of automatic, though. Um, I'm not sure why. Yeah, this might have been a better place for me to fight, although we end up both getting cut in that case. Um, okay. I guess I'm allowing my opponent to extend into here. Hey, good morning, Swish. Let's see. So what do we do? Not entirely fully awake alert and such here, so um hmm. Well, okay, so I've managed to cut three white groups with one stone. Um that could become more that could become one white group, I suppose, but at the moment that's not what it is. Um, I could even attack over here if I felt ambitious. This seems to come to mind. 
Um, oh, let's build a net of some sort. I don't know. Like if I go here, white goes there. If I go here, white goes here. That might not be a bad outcome because then I've cut off the stone and what would be actually two white stones. Um, hmm. Interesting. But yeah, if I can start driving white toward my stone here, I might be able to do something. Um, so let's attack. Let's see where this goes. Obviously, that's Atari. Uh, so we built up a little bit of strength here. Now do I climb over this way? Uh, and then he cuts me. I do this. This might be something. Um, Hmm. I want to get this stone, but that's really jealous of me. Uh, if I go here, he cuts me. If I go here, we just build all the way out. Um... Although building all the way out is not a terrible thing. I really don't know about this shape. That seems... I mean, I produce the same shape, but under a different circumstance. So... I don't even know if this is considered a Hane there. Um, probably not. Wait a minute. If I go here, he goes there. If I go here, he goes there. Here, there, here. Yeah, I don't know. Trying not to get fully enclosed would be a good thing, I suppose. Um, and White attempts to produce some eye, and uh, it's to me now to make sure that that doesn't happen. So I go here. Um, where do I go? Let's try this. I seem to have confused my opponent. Um, yeah, it makes sense that he would... He still has me cut here. I can't completely ignore that. Um, so he's got one, two, three. If I go here... I'm sure he just goes under. Um, Yeah, I think his shapes are more solid than mine. Can I do this, though? So we're going to learn a whole lot here. Um, one, one. I mean, 
We're threatening to Atari him. That's got to be worth something. Right, and this just fills in a white liberty, though. So if I go here, I could take the corner point and make some eyes all while making threats. Um, this might be even better. Um, I just don't want to spread myself too thin. No, this seems like the best way to connect up everything. If I go down here, he goes there. Yeah, I think I have to attempt to live in the corner if I want to kill this shape in the center. Now oh, that's Atari, so I have to fix, but I'm threatening a4, then c5. Okay. And now I'm threatening c5. That's a Tari buddy. Hey, BBB AIs. Look at that. I did a good thing. Yeah. I did the best I could to watch last night's, or I guess yesterday's um, match uh, between. Choshikun and Deep Sengo. I'm not sure I fully understood it. Um, also, I was really tired. But yeah, I did a good thing here. Um, hmm. How do I bookmark this? I don't know if the server has bookmarks. Do, 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 do. Analyze game, call moderator, link to game, download. Um, mm. okay, let's link to the game, sure, copy link address, and then I could put that somewhere, where would I even put that, I don't know, oh, but I'm sure it's linked to my user account, so uh, I could retrieve the game if I'm later interested in it, um, so let's go forward. See this game, I actually placed a stone that wasn't attacking. You remember the previous game where I was on the phone and um uh okay, you guys were right. I was I still had some chances, but I every one of my moves was an attacking move. This time I played a single move here that wasn't attacking. Um and so that gave me kind of a, well, this is stupid. This is not where I should have placed. Um, just adding stones to the pile of all the other stones. Well, okay, the point was I didn't want to get encased here, but that's paranoia, man. Um, more optimistic would be this. Um, something like that. Oops, can't do that. Um, so, but yeah, I've, I've got to be way better here. He needs three, I need two. So this move here on d4 was just super paranoid. Um, and thankfully, my opponent just blew the game. Um, so, okay, let's seek another game. Oh, but yeah, here is my idea, is that I'm like starting to build up a foundation to attack. So I don't need to place like immediately next to my opponent's stones to make something kind of threat. I wonder. Um, oh no, no, my threats are... Yeah, no, this is just a net. He's just... Uh, he's in a dark place at the moment. Um, I think my attack just comes too rapidly. Uh, just because I have too many stones supporting this and produce some kind of living shape. Uh, so yeah.
That was an interesting game for me. <laughs> Probably not for you. Um, right, yeah, I have... Obviously, letting my entire um, position be cut. Like, I had some stones in the center, some up top, some on the right. Whereas my opponents all were pretty well connected. Um, ish. Yeah, I was definitely playing a bit loose there. Um, and there's huge risks that go with that. Um. Okay, now we fight. Whoa, okay, really? Um, we're fighting, that's for sure. Okay. <clears throat> so I could place here. Uh, is that walking into a ladder? Probably. Um, here, here. <coughs> Pardon me. <coughs> there we go. Um, so, yeah, I think this would be walking into a ladder. If I were to do that. What would be a reasonable... I like attacking, but is attacking always merited? Yes. <laughs> Just need to find the right way to do it. Um... Okay, so I can actually give this stone um, in order to help me build up some strength here. Uh, so I force him to fill in. So that was only a one point game for him to take that. Now obviously I'm I have all kinds of defects in this structure but um, yeah this would be ridiculous. I wouldn't want to do that. This seems okay. So he's got one big blob of stones, and meanwhile I've got lots of stones all over the place. Um, do I just seal this here? That'd be reasonable, or would this be better? Um, I like this. Yeah, people were telling me yesterday um, that I was extremely possessive of uh, my territory and my stones and always trying to rescue them, and that there are actually other ways to play Go um, that don't involve trying to save your stones every time. <laughs> um, okay, so this, this seems a bit ambitious. Um, well, no, it's the same principle, right? He gets the one stone, I get the rest of the board. That's probably okay.
Okay, so F7, yeah, maybe I should have done G7 instead or something like that. Um, Is this overplaying? If he goes there. Actually, this is Atari. Uh, what's the best way for me to play this? Atari is quite good in general. It's a useful thing. Because then I could like start dropping in stones here and try to invade and kill this entire behemoth. Um, and even if I'm not successful, at least I've made quite a nuisance. Um, the idea of killing is kind of insane there, but... No, actually, this is just good influence. I should like this. Um, even if there's nothing instantly concrete that comes from it. Um, but, I don't know, the Atari seems... It's really hard to pass that by. Because he has to play there. I mean, I've always got this threat, but if I don't execute it, he just places here. Responding to threats. Um, also, I could just take h8 and fix here and stuff. I've got defects. Uh, yeah, I'm almost... This is risky the way I'm playing. Um, almost in trouble. Let's see. Um, I want to do this, and then I'm going to fix here. Do I extend? He goes there. I've kind of walked into something. I think I'm okay. Now, the key here is counting the territory properly. Um, I think. But yeah, White's got basically two ranks of territory, and I've got basically four. Um, I only had to lose a couple stones to do it. So, unless I get killed, I'm doing okay.
So C4 is the obvious cut point, and this whole time I've been assuming and calculating that I'm not dead here. No, because I just play C3. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. Uh, C3, he does B4, and then I lose these guys. Uh, so I have to go here. He still encases me. Um, nope, that killed this. Uh, is this the right way to live? There, here. No, I have to do this. So that's Atari uh, forcing a response. Perhaps I've overplayed quite a bit. Um, wait, what? Oh, he's going to attempt to connect here. Okay. Well, it comes down to did I read that correctly? Or am I doomed? Did I overplay or did he overplay? Um, this is one step away from Atari for white. I don't see that improving for white. No, no, that's actually a uh, a link I have Nightbot posting periodically on a timer. Um, Yeah, I was gonna say I thought that this I, I thought I was safe enough. Um, so now either B one or E two look correct. I'm just being paranoid here. Actually, this looks nice too. Um, well, what's the point of this? But E two looks nice. It's really hard for me to argue against e2. There's perhaps a, a more aggressive way to play this, but this seems defensively adequate. Um, and that I'm not getting this group surrounded, which would be kind of amazing if that did happen, but... Um, Atari. He's got 5 minutes, 30 seconds to figure out a move. Well, that's a move. That's a try. Uh, I don't want to strengthen this, but what do I do? Got some more overtime to work with here. 
Um, just force them into the wall, or into this wall, rather. Um, I've probably made things too complicated here. Um, I'm just trying to make sure he doesn't have a living group. Um, I'm still looking at this G9 possibility. G9 forces G8. That doesn't help me. I'm okay here too. The only thing I need to make sure is that he doesn't live. Um, I think I'm doing okay on that front. I don't need to be worried that I'm losing territory because um, he's losing stones for each square of territory he takes from me. Okay, yeah, he did get a stone, but I'm going to be able to get stones back, so there's checks and balances here. Um, Ten, assuming I can nine, kill this. Eight, seven, six, five, four. I do need to make sure that I kill this. It might not be dead. Um. to figure this out. Yeah, I don't understand what's going on here. Oh no, he's making it most one eye. Somehow I miscounted this as two eyes. Um, but I'm fine. Never mind.
Yeah, you need two eyes to live and go, not just one. So now I just connect here, and inevitably this is going to die, because there's not space to make another eye. I mean, the space would be if he got the J1 point, but that's not happening. And if uh, the square were vacant. That doesn't help him. Okay, this has got to be the least efficient way I could possibly be doing this, but um, it's going to work, so uh, I think I'm okay. So yeah, now he's testing whether I know uh, how to do this. Ten. Okay. Yeah, I don't know if at any point in that sequence I could have passed and this would have been considered a victory. Um, no, it says in fact I've got 19 points, uh, so I had to keep killing things in order to get credit for this. Wait, they count as captured, but as I'm looking at this here, it says I've got 19 to his 26 and a half. Um, I th think that that means under this particular rule set that I had to do that. Wait, so... Oh, that's just an estimate. Oh. Okay. Meaning that this estimate would be minus the one, two, three, four, five, six. So, uh, oh, plus I would get this one, two, three. So at this point, passing would win. Let's see. Um, I'm not sure if I actually have to kill that group. That one I might have to do. But the rest of this, as long as we agree on which stones are dead... In fact, yeah, that's the whole thing about this, uh, allowing you to mark which stones are dead and which ones aren't. And if both players agree, the result is decided. Um, got it. So yeah, I had some points to spare at the end. Um, in particular, so like each time here I'm placing one stone, killing multiple stones. There's really... Well, there is a loss there, because you could just count these as dead. So I lose a point, lose a point, lose a point. I'm still winning the game, even with my complete uber noob technique. Um, I'm still winning. Um... Okay, so that's why there's the distinction that um, stones are just called dead, and you don't have to actually kill them. Interesting. See, so yeah, once I play G1, just mark all the white stones down here as dead. And um, I'm not sure... Like, so say we both pass and we disagree on what's dead. I think then the appropriate course of action would be to get a strong go player and or moderator 
Um, in real life, it'd be just a strong go player. Just go over to them and say, hey, could you look at our game? I'm pretty sure I won this. And my opponent's disagreeing with me on it, and so I might be able to learn something here. Um, on the Go server, it's probably more along the lines of, hey, I'm getting a moderator. If we don't agree on this, we need somebody to moderate the situation. Yeah, but how do you resume the game? I, I mean, I, okay, I could say all these stones are dead. Um, is it a bad thing that I'm placing and killing these things? I'm losing a point each time I kill, uh, I'm sorry, each time I place a stone. So that cost me, that cost me. Um, so where's the pass button? I don't see the pass button. Um, we're in analyze mode. Uh, but I guess my point is that if white keeps passing and I kill all white's things down here, hopefully it costs me f um, fewer stones to kill. Um, hopefully I'm, I recoup some reward in doing all the killing, right? Well, let's see. Let's just watch the estimate. So. The estimate here went from 0 to 4 to 5 to 6, 6, 7. Uh, and yeah, each time I place a stone, that's kind of sort of counting against me. But I'm killing stones as I go along. So as long as I'm scoring one point um, per move on average, I'm doing well. Yeah, I think once you get to a high enough level, there's consensus on who the winner is, because <laughs> uh, you've been counting out um, and reading out rather uh, who's ahead and who's um, which threats are um, taking priority over which other threats. And there's always this sense of how urgently do I need to attack? Um, But yeah, as for that link that Nightbot put there, that's something that I learned about recently that I want others to be aware of. Um, just the concept of journalism and how to support um, journalists uh, who do hard work and help research stories. Um, let's see, do I go here or do I go the other way? This would be defensive, this would be, I don't know. Let's go here. Okay, well, I admit to being confused by this. Um, <laughs> well, look at that aggression. I could do that. I don't even know if that's a bad idea. Um, it seems crazy. I want to know where this goes. Okay, I've got a defect, that's for sure. I could just keep this pattern going. W for win, right? Oh man, look at all those defects. Um, nervous about doing that. Uh, but, I mean, oh, I could cut him here. That could be fun too. 
I know I've got defects all over the place, like he can cut back. Um, all right, so we're gonna make sure he doesn't cut here. Um, this is quite a setup. What is this flag, I wonder? Thailand. Okay. But yeah, White's making some interesting threats. Um, well, do we go full ridiculous? Um, no. I mean, that'd be doing very much along the lines of what my opponent did last game. Um, I mean, the cut feels good, but the fact that I'm clumping all my stones into one big ball does not feel good. Um, all right, well... I'm going to claim the upper half. Surely he's just going to drop a stone somewhere up here. Yep. Try to ruin my day. <laughs> um. This would be exciting. Uh, and dangerous. At this point, I'm playing with fire. Um, do I have better? I could take this point. It goes there, or somewhere around here. I can't just ignore this. Um, I could cut. You have to uh, try to connect underneath. This feels appropriate here. He's just failed to respond to this. So I can afford to be a bit more aggressive down here. Do I cut him again? Now let's fix that. This is a good cutting stone. understand what he's doing. So he goes somewhere here-ish. I don't know, let's find out. Show me what I am missing. Okay, so I guess, yeah, um, this might not have been the right thing to use to try to do a kill. Uh, although I connect, so at the very worst, I've um, greatly reduced white. Wow. 
What in the world is he doing? I don't understand. I can't completely ignore this, but what do I do? Okay. Um, he's getting territory. But yeah, if he's getting territory, why does he put all the stones on the same line right next to each other? That's the thing that confuses me. It's like, okay, I could understand like if he puts one C7, G7, E8, starts just dropping stones seemingly helter-skelter all over the top. I could get that, but putting them all in a straight line? I've not seen anything like this. going to live on the top. Oh, it's preparing for a peep. Okay. I see. So this peep is when he's uh, threatening to go between these two stones. Um, and yeah, I, by placing on g7 I just made an additional weakness for him to peck at. Um, okay. That said, this might be an overplay. I mean, we're both double-digit Q, so anything could be, like, gravely mistaken. This F8, E8, um, I could be getting surrounded here. If I had an extra move, I'd play on F8 and E7 at the same time, and it'd be pretty clear who's winning then. Um, still feels like I shouldn't let him connect. Oh, he did connect. I completely missed that that would connect. Um, so now my center group is under fire. Um, I'm not winning a capture race if one erupts. So... Here we go. This might not be the right way to go about this, but um, I like to imagine that I know what I'm doing. Oh no, I just fill out on the bottom row and I get killed anyhow. Um, that's not the way to go. How about this? A 
Okay, I'm in Atari. That's my fault for walking right into that. Oh my goodness, that's terrible. <laughs> oh dear, what have I done? Um, at least it looks horrible. Um, Okay, well, he's getting way more territory than I am. Um, oh, he's, he's going to connect, though. What the heck am I doing? Also, I'm an Atari. Um, I have not played this well at all. Um... Yeah, no, this is game. Game, set, and match. I connect. You, I mean, you can place here, you can place Ten, there. I'm just nine, dead. Eight, seven. Um, so what was the last point? Oh, I have to say GG. Uh, even though, really, I terribly misplayed. Uh, but I'm double-digit Q, and I'm going to misplay. But Obviously, after that, I'm just gone. Um, so I can't do that. G1 would have captured. Probably you mean earlier. Uh, probably you mean here. I saw this, this, and then I have various ideas here. I wasn't sure what to do. Oh, okay. Um, Also, stopping the immediate connection could have been a good thing. Um, oh, he's got tons of influence here, though. I. Um, should have contested that earlier. Uh, so these two stones up here are very strong. And I need to, like, stop them from spreading um, but it's probably too late here too or it's late that not that it's too late but um, yeah my uh, what I did here was inappropriate now I understand like the whole point of these uh, peak moves it's to get sente that's actually a useful thing in go um, so, would, um, so what would I be comfortable with doing? Obviously placing all these one space diagonally was something I tried out. Um, yeah, I guess F7 there, really, that would have been... A reasonable way to try to follow up what I did. Um, but having this weak shape to begin with gives my opponent extra um, initiative. Like I'm constantly forced to be fixing things. So maybe the way I played this opening, I mean they say anything can be done in 9x9 nine nine, but I'm not sure if that's true. This is very aggressive. Um, I'll just play something like that. And that way I can... I'm not committing myself to this kind of like checkered pattern. Uh, it's also Sente. Oh, wow. That's a threat? Are you serious? Wow. I 
just feel like I'm in way more danger than he is. Um, because I have no territory. I mean, I still think it's a good move, but I'm, our evaluations of this position, uh, are quite different. I'm thinking that I really like White's position here. Yeah, White's got the upper left, lower right, and lower left corners. Um, and I haven't killed anything. Um, so... Yeah, I think gang. Um, maybe that's just something I should make a higher priority of. Like, here, instead of giving up the corner, just play that. Play here. Play something. Um, although he's got both these two corners down here now. Um, I don't know. Like, he plays here, I could do that. There we go. That's a corner. I could play here. There's a corner. Uh, perhaps not this one, but... Um, if I feel really passive, maybe, or really, yeah, maybe passive is the right word to describe that. I don't know. I can't ignore all the corners. Um, uh, yeah. So, I'm learning that unlike chess, um, it, whoops, let's not necessarily bother this dude. Um, unlike chess, uh, corners are also important. And chess, if you take a corner, your opponent looks at you kind of funny and um, asks, why are you committing all your pieces to where they have no movement? And here, pieces just don't move. So, uh, every square counts. Here we go. The fight has started. Move three. Um, do I cross cut? Do I take a different corner? What do I do? I'm not even sure that this takes a corner, necessarily. Um, I mean, yeah, he just attacked my stone. Am I just going to let that go? I think we're going um, to do something about this. Hey, Trunk Burger. do this. Yeah, no, actually this helps because it puts some influence out this way too. I have not yet played 19 by 19. I've seen some 19 by 19 games, but I've not played um, on that size of a board. So like here, tactics prevail a lot. Um, Well, there's a lot of potential for fun stuff here. Oh, 
if I go here, he goes there, and I have to play another stone. Um, he's threatening to Atari. Yeah, let's just fix that. So, I just want to find a way to kill this. That's way over ambitious and uncalled for, but I want to do it. Um, hmm. No, this is a living shape. Um, we just take a corner, I guess. Where do we go? Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Um, also, this he just strengthened this, so these three might be in some danger. Um, That's a mess. A9 puts black in Atari. Oh, right. That's self Atari. Don't do that. <laughs> um, so I have no corners. Um, I could argue that maybe I've got this corner. We have some contests to see who's actually got it. Um, or I could just give it up without a fight, which is not happening. I think I'm going to learn a thing or two about what not to do and go. Uh, unfortunately, I'm going to be learning it the hard way. Hello, welcome.
and being impatient and just placing stones. Um, Hmm. I was way more optimistic about this somehow. Perhaps far too optimistic. So he has an Atari threat right there. I have to play this even though I don't want to spend time doing it because that just helps him. Um, well, it looks like I've lost this corner, this corner, half of this corner, and all of that corner. Um, so it does not look like this is going well. I do have the center in some really weird, not at all applying to go sense. Um, got some, yeah. I did not succeed in claiming any territory. Um, Okay, so what can I do? I can further succeed in killing my own guys there. Um, Maybe F2, well, F2 seems too aggressive, I don't know. Yeah, maybe F2 would have been a more reasonable thing. Yeah, go is tricky. Um, but yeah, no joke, if you're not so familiar with this, um, I'm pretty sure I'm already lost here. Um, just to give an evaluation. Um, that seems kind of pessimistic, but I don't see a way to improve that evaluation. Okay, maybe I could kill these two somehow. That might be my one solace here. He has weakened the lower left versus the center versus the bottom right. So there is some hope I might be able to pull something out. Um, it would have to be kind of ridiculous, but... I might at least be able to claim two stones and maybe the two territory that, under, that underlied them. Um, yeah, so White has uh, five and a half Comey. He's made one capture, so currently he's up by six and a half points. Um, <laughs> no. No, they made it 9 by 9 because 19 by 19 is too much for a beginner. <laughs> Have you ever seen the 6 by 6 chess board? Um, I think it's called Quick Chess. Um, and it has one of each type of chess piece. Uh, I'm sorry, it's got two rooks, a king, a queen, knight and bishop, or wait, no. How does that work out? King, queen, rook, bishop, knight, 
I forget what the sixth piece is. Um, all right, he's attempting to connect. Am I going to let him connect? No. Uh, yeah, he, he very much let me back into this. Um, All right, I'm an Atari, so my move's kind of forced. Um, do I do? Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, this is five, tricky. Four, three, two, one. I'm not actually going to succeed in killing this stuff. Oh, hang on. Uh, no, that doesn't kill. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, I'm going to try this. This seems really far-fetched. So you see how like we've got overtime. Um, unlike a chest clock, you can actually exceed your time limit, and then that puts you into a mode where you have 30 seconds per move. Uh, and you can do that a few times during the course of a game. Um, I don't think I have anything special here. <clears throat> right, so I can't invade under there. can invade here. This could be fun. So now it's Atari. Oh, okay, he's alive down here now, I think. Wait, no, these are separate groups. He hasn't connected any of that yet. Um... That's probably a dumb move, um, but I'm really confused at this point.
Oh, right, yeah, no, he, he's reclaimed the co. Um, I'm still thinking about this corner. Um, in case by some miracle I have something here. Um, Do I pass? I was thinking I either had to connect down here or pass in the corner. Um, I'm sorry, attack in the corner. Um, Yeah, you're allowed to have um, some finite number of times you go over the, let's see, except remove stones, white winds. Uh, So white one by the Comey of five and a half, um, plus he's up for territory. Um, or not necessarily, he's got 15 territory, I've got 12. So he captured one more stone than I captured, and he contra controls three more territory. So he was a bit more efficient. Um, Where's the analysis board? Analyze game. All right, so, oops, let's not automatically play through, but manually do this. I'm gonna skip past the opening because let's face it, this is nine by nine and I don't understand it very well. Oh yeah, so he did let me back in by splitting himself up. Um, but I didn't wanna go through the opening but now that I look at this position, it still looks quite sad for black. Um, so that means that earlier I should be doing something better. This, okay, all of this that happened here does not seem very good for black. G9 is probably uh, the beginning of just a series of bad ideas. I wanted to see what would happen if we just cross cut because I don't know the shape at all. Um, and yeah, apparently if you end up losing one of these cross cut fights, your opponent has lots of stones that um, have potential. I think I could push a G1. Um, not sure where you're, oh, somewhere around here. Yeah, I could push here, I guess. Um, 
Is there a point to this? I don't know. I certainly could do this. Um, I'd be in a better place if I had another stone here and I could actually threaten to kill some stuff, but... Um, yeah, I think earlier, sometime back here, I'd have more fun doing something else. Not even necessarily what I did was bad, just that it wasn't very fun. Um, yeah, this is pessimistic. I should just have some fun. Um, yeah, that's not a threat at all. Can I just do that? Um, I don't know. Wait, that's Atari. Um, I don't know. Okay, Cena. Yeah, what I did. Hmm. I guess this is what happens when you play jealous moves, and then you have to play stones to um, fill in all your defects. D5 was unnecessary. Okay. Uh, um, oh, I can connect this so many different ways. Uh, I don't need to even play that. Um, Just even do this. I'm okay. Yeah. That makes sense. Or yeah, actually I guessed this right. Go me. I was just thinking about what can I do to stop E4. I'll just play F4. And then he can't play there. Um, although, yeah, they say this, like, this shape is a decently strong shape. Uh, the numbers on the pieces mean that this wasn't the move played in the game. This is a variation, and so these are moves 1, 2, and 3 of the variation. Um, yeah, this would have been way more fun than my d5 move. And even though I haven't connected yet, I should have some confidence that I am going to connect at some point. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, we've got a comment. Um, I like this variation for black. Okay, how do we get here? 26, 27, so Atari, Atari, kill, another Atari, whoa, fireworks, um, that's, but it leads to Ko, um, do we just keep doing this chain of things right down the board where, like, this kind of nonsense, not saying that that's sound at all, but, um, uh, like, what is this game? Most of the theory works on the larger board. Okay. Um, yeah. I'm still too chicken to play on the 19 by 19 board, but there seems to be a cry for me to try something different. Um, we're going to try something different. Now this default, this is 5 by default. I think having a 5 there would not hurt my chances any. Oh boy. Keep in mind, I don't know openings. Um, 
I mean, yeah, I've seen some Nick Sibiki lexers where you just, uh, did I mispronounce that? Is it Sibiki or Sibiki? Anyway, I see lectures where he just says, oh yeah, players just put their stones here, here, and here, and he gives it some name, and that's all well and good. Let's pass. <laughs> no. Okay, well, take one of these points. Um, I should have taken the upper right point, but there's convention as to what you're supposed to do. Um, and I've already violated said convention. I do like that avatar. That's a nice one. Everybody knows who that is. It's Voldemort. I mean, no it's not. <laughs> um, okay. something. Sure, why not? Uh, oh, it's Han Solo. That's right. <laughs> How could I not recognize Han Solo? Okay, yeah, the, the word I was looking for earlier was Joseki. I do not know Joseki. So I am thoroughly screwed. Um, but that said, um, yeah, this should be fun. <laughs> uh, I don't know what to do. What am I doing? Here, there, somewhere. Let's play something not ridiculously aggressive. Approaching inside in 13 by 13 is dangerous. Oh. Okay. Good to know. Um. <laughs> after I've done it. It's the best time to understand the right way to play. That's cool. Yeah, okay. I guess my opponent is also double digit Q, so anything could happen. I'm playing kind of a chicken move in that I don't want to lose this corner. I don't want to have to learn how to regain a corner after having lost it on my first 13 by 13 game. Um, <sighs> Joseki. My opponent does not know Joseki as my only uh, solace. Okay. We're going to avoid losing this corner. Um, and the moment our opponent does something like a monkey jump or whatever it's called, we're going to panic. You don't need to know Joseki until 10Q. Okay. Hmm. Well, in that case, I should just play Tengen. Yeah. Might actually make more sense on 13 by 13 board than on uh, the large board. Um. Pincer, not really. Um, oh my goodness. What am I doing? Do we peep? Is that a thing that we do? Is that even a thing we want to do? Probably not. K10 is not a good move. Okay. That's worth noting. Here. We'll return the favor and build a wall. Is 
the double double honey. I just invented it. Um, so approaching inside does not work on thirteen by thirteen. So I should perhaps avoid this move. <laughs> um, okay, so we've got a two space gap here. Um, I have a weak group under pressure. Is that? I don't even know what the weak group is. All the groups are weak. This one seems to be under the most pressure. And I've probably just like said something that makes people's heads explode. Um, Um, just because my way of looking at this is so different, um, but oh, it's not even an approach. That's called an invasion. Okay, so if I try to do Operation Rescue Stones, that's probably not the right thing to do here. Um, this might be okay. Uh, this might also be okay, threatening to do something like that. This is going to get really uh, fighting really quickly. We've invaded, approached, and various other things, and either it's going to be successful or I'm just dropping all my stones into a hole in the ground. Find a more peaceful way to play the game, and perhaps invading is not the peaceful way to go. Um, It's funny though, like in chess, um, what I'm best at is calculating something that's analogous to invasions. Um, something where the position's already so dire. And at that point, I'm trying to find tactical resources to bail me out. Okay, I'm going to attempt to connect underneath. Wow, that was easily rebuffed now, wasn't it? Um... Hmm. I'm not reading as well as my opponent. So I could be losing some stones in addition to losing the corner. 
Oh, that's a ladder. Um, that's sad. Well, we have to acknowledge the loss, lest we make it even worse. Um, that's self Atari. All right, so I've lost a lot. He might spend a turn killing it immediately. Not that he should, but he might do that because we're double digit Qs here. Uh, no such luck. Okay, now he's an Atari, so he has to kill it. And he does. Uh, I have so many defects. B7 to save the two. Wow. I guess my pessimism um, uh, took hold there. Okay. That's fortunate to know that I didn't miss something that completely worked, even though I missed it. Um, it's not like that's the end of the world, because uh, it would not have been in my favor. Fine, let's let's do crazy things. I'm just preventing this connection. Um, trying to complicate my opponent's life a little bit. Um, oh, he connects here anyhow. Didn't think that was going to work. I'm in time pressure. to save the H4 group. Oh, holy moly, is that threatened? I know I was attacking these two, but am I actually in danger? Thankfully, I identified uh, the weakest, well, the second weakest group on the board, third weakest. One, two, this is the third weakest. Um, I did identify this, and it was right next to my weak group, um, so I think I've saved my H4 group. I don't think I've ever had um, the privilege of streaming Pikmin just yet. But if you would see how I play Pikmin, um, how I attempt to not to lose any of the Pikmin, and I get really upset if I do lose any of them, um, you'll have some understanding as to how like this approach to go. Uh, I mean, yeah, people probably understand that I'm a beginner and I like to save the stones, but <laughs> oh, they're dead. Okay, that's. Good. Dead is good. Um, yeah, I don't know the difference between weak and dead. I mean, I know the conceptual difference, but I can't recognize it very well. So, it's 
it's been an even-ish game thus far. <laughs> um, yeah, I did lose the corner, so my territory is pretty sad, but what would be a good territory move? Hmm. See on larger boards all these amazing invasions and that's like how in chess you want to see the queen sacrifices. A uh, player gives up their strongest piece to get some kind of advantage somehow. Um, if I play this, well they say play the Hane at the head of two stones. This would definitely be in that spirit. I want to cut, but let's take territory. K2 for reduction. Okay, so K3 is too close, perhaps. Yeah, definitely too close. Okay, I'm welcoming a cross cut um, because I'm not very optimistic about my position. Six, five, four, three, two, one. And now we're in Bioyomi. Okay, I'm going to try to take some space here. Solid, cowardly move. Hmm. So I attempted to do a reduction. Eh, we got mixed results on that. It's going to be a close game. I say, uh, ignoring the fact that I've lost the lower left corner. Um... That's not attacking. Um, Hey, this is not good. He has reduced me. Well, we've got to try this. This looks sketchy. <laughs> uh, we've got to try this. Okay. Atari. Hmm. 
doesn't even necessarily need to fix that defect. Um, got to see that double digit Q magic. We'll find a way, guys. We'll find a way. I do this, he takes, I surround. Ten. I, unless I've grossly miscalculated something, and it's quite possible I have, this is called a snapback, where he takes my stone, and I come back, and I kill all these stones. Um, it's possible I've grossly miscalculated, but... Um, if he's going to try anything, he does need to try to cut me in G6. No, 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 that's not the cut at G6. I could fix this. This simplifies the whole calculate everything, but uh, I think he's trying to cut me over here somewhere, too. Because there's no snapback. I apologize. <laughs> um, people are recoiling in horror at what's going on. Yeah, who needs the pro matches when you got double digit cues having fun? Uh, thanks to the kill. Oh, okay. I did not see that. So that's how. I've never seen that tactic before. Holy crap. Um. Well, that's a mess and a half. Uh, yeah, no, I think this is not going so well. Well, yeah, I've... <laughs> I've learned now uh, just what this weakness entails. I like... I, I I could spend the whole, like, all of my overtimes looking at that, and I probably should. But I'm also lazy, and I'm interested in just seeing my opponent um, produce the correct moves. Oh, that's a snapback, guys. Okay. <laughs> GG. Okay, so, so you guys were saying that invading is risky on 13 by 13. Yeah. Um, that was fun. <laughs> okay. Well...
Yeah. Um, you know, everybody who tries to show you instructive go shows you it on the 19 by 19 board. We're going to go big or go home. You're going to see errors on a whole new level of incompetence. Um, uh, this is going to be special. Yeah, maybe this will somehow go better. Only because, like, you never see the strong players showing you this is how to play on a 13 by 13 board. Um, so, move one, pass. Okay. We'll take a star point. Take another star point. Okay, well... We got some star points. Um, yeah, I have to force myself to read. I just get extremely frustrated when I do read and then I miss something obvious. Um, And so, yeah, I've got, in order for me to win, I have to actually do the reading. Um, not that I can guarantee a win by any stretch of the imagination, but my odds will greatly improve if, in fact, I do do some reading. Um, Do I do somewhere along here ish? Maybe. Let's just stick a stone out here. Um. I don't understand this. Yes. Oh. Um. Oh. Is there a take back button? I don't know. Uh, there we go. Oh yeah, there it is. It's called undo. Uh, so... We got some strength over here. Um, let's place something somewhere over here ish. Sure, why not?
I'm going to pretend that he put it at f17. And I'm just going to respond uh, on the other side. Okay, well, that was more aggressive than I expected um, him to play. I mean, he's got to do something, but... Hmm. Did I just, like, play over here? Is this too close? Have I lost the corner? Let's do the corner thing. Before, yeah, I don't want to get into crazy corner Joseki stuff, so I'll protect my corner. D seventeen's also fine. Okay, or D seventeen is fine. I'm assuming C seventeen's okay. Maybe I assume too much. Um, all right. We've started a war, guys. We have so started a war. Uh, I don't know. I mean, if I played this, I should only have expected this is crazy, because he's got absolutely nothing around here. So, just have to read this out to victory. Um, I jest, but um, Hane at the head of two stones. But where, which way do we Hane? I've got influence here and there. If somehow some crazy ladder happened, it might end up being influenced by these two over here. I don't know where to go. He is alive. Oh. Oh. Okay. That's good to know. Uh, so let's just play here. Yeah, that's the other thing is I tend to be like really critical of my moves um, when I'm making an effort. Um, like, obviously you saw last game I wasn't so critical, and I played some random-ish moves. Um, but um, when I'm actually trying, I try to calculate things out to a forced win, uh, and that's not productive in Go. I need to learn new habits. What's he doing? Um, <laughs> this is so easy to live. Well, that's good to know. Um, and what's he doing? I should just tang it. Seriously, if I have no idea what I'm doing, tang it, and then if ladders ever happen, or I don't know. At least then I've got some influence in the center. Some dubious, dubious influence. Um, here, let's do this.
we're gonna learn stuff about this formation. Um, so if I go there, he just goes up. If I go here, he goes here. I don't know. Joseki will say that he's alive somehow. Um, I don't want to keep adding to the pile of stones in the corner. Um, Let's put some more influence out there. All right, if you're going to keep fighting, we're going to fight, buddy. Um, yeah, there would have been a more aggressive move for me, but um, now he's like super alive there. But we built up a wall. Yeah, I should be trying stuff out instead of trying to read and read and read and read and read and not find anything. And now I have one minute to his seven. Um, not that that matters, because this is anything can happen. Um, uh, but it would be nice if I had a better position. Ay, ay, ay. Do we do this? Is crazy. Okay. Um. Like, honestly, this is why we were sticking with the 9x9 nine nine board, is because I have no idea what I'm doing here. And yeah, I will be able to learn this, although I, I just made that way better for him. I should have played at h17 instead. Um, I have a feeling I might accidentally, on purpose, lose this on time. Um, I mean, it might be a good position. I just have no idea what I'm doing. That much is true regardless of how good the position is on some objective merit. Um, so, and you'll find even in chess the same applies that, um, you could have a really strong position, and if you have no idea what you're doing, it doesn't matter. Make territory. Um, oh, I got killed there. That's okay. Um, here, I made some territory. We're happy. Ish. Oh, this isn't territory. I do not understand the concept of territory. This just in. In case people were watching and did know that already. Um, uh, and it's funny, even like when I do make territory, uh, people or opponents invade. I mean, that's half the game. Do I have anything over here? Oh, I guess he's got this corner, he's got this corner, he's got this corner. If I don't do something. Um... This isn't much of a life. There we go. We've got the corner, guys. Uh... Yeah.
I might have like two territory here to his like 10, 12, something. Um, uh, assuming I'm alive, which is probably a false assumption. Just given my track record, it's probably not the assumption I should start with. Um, Oh, I'm not connecting. Why did I think I was connecting here? Okay. Um. I'm an Atari, uh, so if I want this to be a, a cut, I should do something there. Um, feels wrong. Oh, that's a reduction. Okay. Could have connected with S5. Now I am dead. I'm still trying to understand how I am dead. Okay, so we are in agreement that that is alive. Okay. Um. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Where 
where to go? Territory somewhere. Oh, wait, oh, whatever. something territory thing. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, I don't know when... Like, this, this 19 by 19 thing is complicated. When you don't know any Joseki, Fuseki, any of the Sekis, even Seki itself. Not that that's relevant, but um, you don't know even what you don't know. Um, it becomes difficult to play the game. I'm not sure why I chose this board. S6 was stronger. Oh, really? Huh. I would not have guessed. Okay. Making a little pocket thing, I guess. Yeah, well, not, I mean, that's half the thing. Um, I don't understand the comments. I'm trying to respond to them in a meaningful way. Um, at the same time, I don't know. Do people actually care about cheating in Go? I assume so, but I don't know. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, I just need to play four, slower. Three, two, one. Okay, we're going to try to extend down here or something. <laughs> Yeah. I know that everybody watching this is like way stronger in many respects. Um Yeah, okay. That's a fair point. Just imagine that this is four nine by nine games. Um There we go. It is completely overwhelming, to be honest. <laughs> uh, wait, what? Huh? Oh, crud. Um. I don't know what I don't know. <sighs> Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, See some double digit Q magic four. here. goodness what a mess <laughs> what a mess I don't know so I'm losing this group probably yeah so they're lost it's just four I don't know, like, what's alive and what's not. Um, oh! You'd think I would see that. I'm trying to, like, put some influence in this area, and I'm just succeeding in losing all of my stones doing so. Oh, man. Um... Now, is he going to go there? I I don't know what I don't even know. Um, I need to spend more time thinking, but 30 seconds a move is not enough. 30 minutes a move probably isn't enough either. Um, wait. So you know how I was saying, let's see some double-digit Q magic, right? Nine, eight, 
that just might happen. Okay, he connected. Um, I'm not aiming to kill this, by the way. I'm just aiming to live. Okay. Okay, that was hasty. I shouldn't have done that. It wasn't just hasty, it was emotional. say irrational to play. We're going in, guys. We're going in. <laughs> Probably not for a good cause. Um, It only cost me one stone to do some ridiculous kind of move like that. So you might as well um, take the dive and see what happens. Uh, the center is not as important as in chess. Um, I mean, it's really difficult. It's expensive to surround the center. Um, Yeah, no, I, I've made like three points to his ridiculous number of points. Um, it's really no contest. I have to connect or I'm going to die there. Um, now he places here, and I might die anyway, but... Um. Black's alive. Each vertex is a property that you can't land on it. Let's see, the only thing you need to add to that is just a bidding mechanic. I was alive anyway? Okay. So, they say like Sente's worth five stones or something, so each time I play or five points. So each time I play a move that I did not need to play, that's me losing five points off my score right there. Um. 
um, yeah, no, that's good to know. I, I had no idea. I still have no idea. Other than you're telling me that this is alive, this is alive. It was really this thing that might have been dead, but... Um, Okay, we're making territory of some kind of some sort here. Now white's actually starting to surround the center. Again, like it's super easy to invade the center and super difficult to um, keep out of it. Uh, so I'm not sure that that even matters. Um, just means he has lots of influence he can extend if somehow a fight breaks out. twister oh my goodness uh good luck with that um okay i appear to have actually surrounded some territory guys yeah we've got a left side I have no idea how to evaluate this. Um, yeah, the, the, the thing is, like, with the 30 seconds here and the fact that Twitch is delayed by 15 or something, it's it's kind of difficult to tell me things before um, I've already moved. Um, Plus, I don't know if that's considered cheating or not. Um, Cut point, cut point, cut point. Um, let's try it. My head is exploding trying to calculate that, so I'm just going to attempt to move and see where we go. Don't worry about killing things, because I'm more likely to kill myself than kill my opponent. Mm. Fine, we'll carve out something up here. This living concept seems quite dull. <laughs> um, but it seems also important. Um... And in my case, off neglected. They don't teach you in, well, I don't know. Fine, 
focus on living somewhere. Settle down over here. And over here. Where'd he go? Oh, he went there. Um, okay, well, we've found some kind of life here, I think. Oh, is that dead? Oh, bummer. Bummer. All right, so this is connected. This has one eye. Uh, if I go there, Ten, nine. then we've almost made a second eye. Um, Okay, there's the second eye. One, two. Uh, plus some maybe threatening stuff, so maybe that wasn't a terrible move. Probably was. But, um. Three stones at L18 cry for help. I didn't think they could be rescued, so, um. I was kind of callous to those three stones. Um. Maybe they could have been rescued. I have no idea what I'm doing. I mean, I did get this territory. Ten, we got that. Am I able to do anything here? Are all these stones dead? Are some of them dead? Is a better question. All is a difficult thing. Some is a less difficult thing, but I don't think I can make two eyes here. But I have to try. connect here or there. So there's something that almost looks like an eye. Can he play here and kill everything, I wonder? Um... Ten. Well, I'm being a chicken. Oh, but he could kill these two groups individually. I haven't connected them yet, so this would actually be a cut point still. I still have failed to play a good move. Oh my goodness. Um, okay, now we have two eyes. That was far too difficult, but that's why you don't surround territory in the center. Um, it just doesn't work. Cool. Glad to hear you had a turnout for that uh, recital concert. Sorry. Um, 
Well, the thing is, I, I don't mind the stream delay. I don't mind being told after I moved if I missed something. We still have no answer from anybody about the whole cheating question. Um, in chess, people get very upset if you cheat. Um, I don't know in Go if that's the case. Um, yeah, this is sad. I don't even need that move, but we're playing it anyway. Um, Why did I do that? I'm spacing out. I don't understand any of this. Um, but my opponent has successfully surrounded the center, and unless I cut him, that center is his. He's got the lower section of the board, because I've not invaded at all um, in a way that works. Um, I could try to reduce with this, because I actually have a living group here, so that gives me something I can use to help reduce him. Um, um, Ten, nine, eight. That's optimistic. Also, do I have one additional overtime, or is this my final overtime? Um, like, if I expire here, does that end the game? Well, there's a couple ways to find out. Go is more friendly. Huh. Okay. <laughs> Trying to find a constructive move. Ten, nine, eight, five, four, Yeah, okay. I guess that's good to know. Oh. Really? Um... There's cuts all over the board, and so I'm not sure. Cutting probably isn't even the right idea. But yeah, 
And I could see this going on for another, um, we'll say 40 moves, which would be 20 by each player. I could see it going on a little bit longer. Yeah, White's got the center, which is really surprising. You never hear, I never hear that sort of thing, which means it can't be the case. Um, There's only like three moves left? Oh, wow. Okay. Um, I was estimating somewhere on the order of like 10 moves left here. Um, and I said I thought it could go on longer than that, but I did think that in terms of serious things to try, um, there's not that much. Oh, he's got two eyes. That's a second eye. Ten. Or is nine, it? Eight. Seven. Six. I don't five, know. Four. Three. Two. I do not know what I do not know. Um. So I blew this. Probably blew something over here. No, he just plays M18, and I can't even... I have no threats here. What am I doing? I am attempting and badly failing to read. Um, so, start filling in some Dami, I guess. Uh, Oh, nice. Very cool. Yeah, in fact, on the Relay Chess server, we did set up a CR1 chess variant internet chess server. So I'm playing a lot of really small moves. My opponent's finding a lot of really big moves. Um, and if that pattern keeps up, I'm going to keep... Um, my score is going to keep going down. <laughs> if you can consider there to be a score. Um, Uh, yeah, they say play out the games so you can learn something from the rest of it. Um, I just, this is way too fast for me. I don't see what to play. I hesitate to call it a good game. I mean, it was a hard-fought game. Um, yeah, wow. Well, okay, yeah, I could pass, but, I mean... Um... So the only reason that this whole bottom area didn't count for white is because of this black stone here. Um, but yeah, if you remove this stone, the estimate for white just skyrockets. It's, and the center uh, also is under white's domain. So yeah, black got flagged. Black kind of gave up. 
um, in the saddest possible way. Um, so that happened. That was completely overwhelming. Uh, just click on estimating score now. Where is the estimating score button? Estimate. Here we are. White wins by 88. Do I agree with this estimate? Yes. Wait, what? No, I don't agree with that. Oh, I'm sorry, these, yeah. No, this actually, I thought it said that this was gone. No, this is, black is alive here, but only controls four territory. Um, so yeah, I do agree with this assessment that this is white's territory, this is white's territory, this is black's territory. This is black's territory. This is black territory. Yeah, in this case, it is correct. I'm not saying that it's the best estimator in the world. Um, but yeah, white does win by 89 or 88 and a half. Um, so. Um, uh, can we like step through the game and have it do an estimate somewhere halfway through? I don't think so, but that'd be kind of cool. Uh, yeah, like here, can I hit the estimate button? I think I, no, it only does this in the final position. I'd have to import this into a client like Leela uh, for it to point out the estimate during the game. Yeah. Yeah, OGS can't estimate halfway through. I think I have Leela installed, I just have no way to import the game, as far as I know. Oh, I've got Gogui. I've got Leela. Um, let's see, what is Gogui? No, this one didn't have the estimator, as far as I remember. I have some client that's capable of doing some kind of estimation. Um, yeah. So there's no... Um, there's no harm in me continuing the game and um, placing stones in his territory and he captures them. There's no harm in that. There's no harm in me trying to invade the center. Um, I could have kept playing, um, but I mean, look at this. This is what I had a sense of. Um, and obviously that just completely broke down during the game. Um, this opponent did not hideously blunder, unlike some Nine by nine board. Um, yeah, if you place a stone and your stone ends up dying, that doesn't count for anything. Um, so, like here, we see these two black stones are dead. So they don't count in Black's favor. Uh, the etiquette is that, like, at the end, if both players don't agree on the count, um, it often well, there's a couple things. One, um, the player who keeps placing stones on the board might be doing so to their detriment because they'll be occupying uh, their own territory and taking away their own points. Um, I guess also to their detriment is like if they put down a whole bunch of stones and then their opponent surrounds it with very few stones, they've just not only lost territory, but also lost many stones. So there's a couple ways that could be to your detriment to keep playing on instead of passing. Um, 
but also go games could go on for quite a long time um, if the players don't agree and once you have some level of expertise in the game you'll have some understanding of whether it's worth going on or not uh, Um, maybe I should go back to the Steam game, Ancient Go. So your question was about 03, down here. I mean, White, yeah, White could take that. Um, the way it's scored right now is that that stone is dead. Um, so that's already scored as dead. If White placed a stone at 02 to capture it, White would actually give up the space on 02 and get the space on O3 and capture the stone. Um, so that'd be a one for one trade. It, it's not good, it's not bad. Yeah, I should maybe have that spam a little bit less often. So if you make two eyes, you're not dead. If you make one eye, um, players can disagree. Um, uh, just given on the situation on the board. Yeah. Maybe I should just get a 9x9 nine nine game out here. Maybe somehow that will help demonstrate concepts better with regard to that. Oh, it's always dead if there's only one eye, because then your opponent just places in the eye and it's all dead. That makes sense. Yeah. Uh, no, this OGS online go, online hyphen go.com has been around for I don't know how long. Uh... Oops, sorry. Oh, Nightbot. Um. <laughs> Some planners, players will have bad manners at the end and just say, all oh, your stones are dead. Uh... Yeah, I think that might not be the most pleasant experience for that to occur. Um, let's see, good luck. Whoa, these stones are enormous. What happened? Okay. <laughs> um, wow, people actually do that? Just so they can get up to higher levels of double-digit Q-dom? That's special. I'm not sure why you'd want to, um, why anybody would want that sort of fate. Um, it seems a lot more relaxing somehow.
Atari? Is Atari here completely ridiculous? It feels ridiculous. Man, what's going on? Okay, this is a cut. The fact that Zatari isn't the whole fact, um, the whole story. The other story is that, like, all this is weak. Um, I can't play there because that'd be self Atari. Um, oh, okay. Hey guys, I captured a stone and I lost three stones. Um, that's an even trade, right? Uh, why? I captured three. Okay. I lost count. I mean, I saw the one and the one, but I didn't see the third one. Um, we invade! Uh, it's not seem wise. Okay, we got a wall. We got some territory over here. Um, Probably a better strategy for a larger board. Another cut. Okay. What's going on? Did you just not see this or? Um, that's self-Atari, don't do that. That's not Atari. I have two liberties. Um, this might still be better. That's self-Atari. That's just getting me killed, but not Atari. Wait. Is it getting me killed? There, 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 there. Eh, it's worth finding out. I'm bored. I've lost attention span, and I probably should break after this and actually have something to eat. Um, I might play better if I'm not thinking about food. Why that? What? Huh? Why? Why would you play that? I don't get it. Like, that's the kind of move that I might play, right? I'm not going to look at the chat window at this moment. I know that must aggravate some people, but I need to figure this out. Because it looks like my opponent just played the sort of move that I would play. Um, it 
So either um, either he just overlooked something, or I've seriously misjudged what's going on. I'm assuming he just overlooked h1 and only saw e1. Um, hmm. I mean, e2. Again, I keep thinking about food, and that's not helping. But, yeah, e2 has two liberties. This group down here is one liberty. This group has two liberties. So, and if I place it H1, that's not self Atari. Um, so now we might get to Zug's idea of D8, um, but only if that doesn't get me killed. Um, I'm still paranoid that my opponent might drop in here, but that's... Okay, if he drops here or there, I just play here and I'm fine. If he drops on this point, I can connect here, he plays there, I'm still fine. This is also worth considering. Um, then he plays h5, and I extend, he, play, he extends. There's not a whole lot there. Um... D8 looks quite reasonable here. Okay. I wish I could just play this and surround and kill that one stone. That'd be so fun. Let's play something a bit more reserved. Can I live in the corner? I mean, everything seems to suggest no, but I want to find a way. Um. Also, is this a threat? Yeah, that's a threat. Let's deal with the threat. Then worry about taking all the points on the board. Start with some points, then worry about all the points later. Um, pretty sure I can't live in this corner. D9 not normally suggested. Okay, good to know. If I go there, he just goes H7. It's not very exciting. I just get all my stones killed. Let's do something more productive. Let's try H7 ourselves. There's no harm in doing this as far as I can see. Um, subtle threat is h4. Um, it might have been too subtle for him. But now I think h4, h5, j4, j5. Actually, it doesn't gain me anything, does it? No, I just keep extending down this way. Um, I don't want this to connect. Can I trick him somehow? Yeah, it's worth trying stuff here. There's plenty of fun tries to be had. Ten, nine, eight, seven, um, six.
again, there's no benefit and no cost to me doing all this stuff. Um, Okay, so now if he manages to deal with tricky tricks, yeah, he's got two eyes now. Everything's fully connected. Um, I'm making not very many eyes here. Um, so I should just connect and invade. This is unnecessary. Um, oh, it actually doesn't matter who takes this uh, corner, does it? Um, So kill that. There's only no cost if he needs to respond. That's a good distinction. So yeah, at this point he doesn't need to respond to any of my moves. I don't need to respond to any of his. Um, I'm dead, or I'm lost, but I think. Uh, Yeah, because I can't make a living group over here. Um, so, I failed to cover Comey. Comey being the handicap for player number two. Yeah, taking A2 cost me a point. I shouldn't have done that. I was already behind three and a half points. I just worsened my situation. Um, <laughs> okay, C8 was necessary, but the, uh, that's why D9 is not recommended, is because C8's better. Um, but even here, this is not so good. <laughs> yeah, who knew that this would come down to Comey? Who knew? Um, D8 was a reasonable play. Uh, D9 gives what? Oh, that's Sente because of the C8 threat. Okay. Whereas if I don't play D9, I still have Sente. I could still do something. Um... So if I could make some kind of living shape somewhere, that would be great. Um, honestly, I just miscounted this territory versus Black's territory. Um, Black really doesn't have much to speak of, and White has quite a bit. Um, so my whole approach to this phase of the game was completely off. Um, but... Um, the good news is that it might not have mattered. Um, let's say we got here. Can black live in the corner? Anybody, any reasonable per person would say that black is not living up here. Um... So I spent one, two, three moves to kill some stones, and uh, I just lost. Um, okay, this really caught me by surprise. This should not have caught me by surprise at all. Uh, so yeah. This was not the best play. Okay, Zug says he has a challenge. I wonder what this means. Yeah, in both cases you end up playing c8 anyway, so you might as well, if you're going to do that, lead with c8. 
So Zog says he has a challenge. I'm not sure what this means. You know, some people, as if, oh, okay. Yeah, let's join the review. D6, right? Oh, okay, never mind. That's not where we're going. F3. Hmm. Oh. Okay. Well, yeah. Tactics. Look at those tactics. Um, that's amazing stuff. Huh. Oh, okay. Wow. Now these don't die. And White just lost the game. That is a difficult concept to see, um, but it makes sense. Um, I could... S I could make some kind of crazy statement here and say that black has a group, and black has a group here, and black has a group here. Oh, but white has one group and one group and one group, so it's not like black has fewer groups. Black's groups just uh, span a greater space of the board. And that black has uh, control of more territory, whereas whites are just bunched up in the middle. Um, uh, white stones are okay so yeah and when you guys say white stones are pretty dead you mean that either black is capturing them by force or that black gets an advantage if white tries to save them um, that makes sense Yeah, so I hit this one weak stone. I should have been striking at these two weak stones, um, which are next to another weak stone. Well, this one isn't so weak because it's joined by this, but, um, but yeah, tactics. Oh, I played e7 here. Did I play e7? Oh, but I could have, I guess. Yeah. Uh... Yeah, a4 is... I don't like a4 anymore. It's just a wasted move. Yeah, I agree. Where is the comment thing? It's down here, right? How do I expand and get the comment thing out? Here we are. Yeah. A4 was definitely not the best move of the game. To make an understatement. Um... Oh, this FG2 was good. It's good to know. Let me put this back in full screen. No, I can't see all the chat unless I unfull screen this and scroll down. Yeah, yeah, there's more accurate ways I could play this. Um... sense that you want to um, play
play moves that um, not only capture stones, but there's uh, more territory with this. Oh man, half tempted to go over and look at ABR's game and just laugh, but um, just for that comment, but yeah. Um, okay, Black, yeah, Black does have three libraries. How about that? Yeah. That was a hard fought game. Not a very accurate game, but hard fought. Okay, um, let's go back up like this. There we go. Uh, let's see if we can observe a game because I'm really hungry. Unless, you know, maybe I should wrap this up. Come back later. I have some other games I do want to play later. Um, this has been a fun session anyhow. Um, so, yeah. Thanks for all the advice. Sorry if I'm kind of slow in absorbing it. Um, uh, we'll get there. So, our progress over, um, I don't know, some of my previous sessions is that I'm not walking into ladders all the time, just some of the time. I'm doing a halfway better job of counting liberties, although it still needs a lot of help. <laughs> I'll continue doing all the sume go because that couldn't hurt anything. Um, and yeah, just in the larger boards, um, I need to have a better appreciation for what territory is. Okay, now I think I understand what Zug was saying earlier um, by he has a game. Uh, let's see. Oh. Uh, he must be talking about a chess game. I don't know if it's still going on. Yeah, yeah, that's definitely being helpful. Um, So, okay, thanks for watching, it's been fun, and I'll see you around. Have a good one.